Coming up on this edition of the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, we head to Lake Hickory and check in with the Carolinas Bass Challenge. And it's off to Tennessee and Lake Chickamauga for the 12th annual Sportsman's Warehouse Fisherman's Dream Tournament. Chris Brown takes us for an inside look at Hummingbird, as well as Vance McCullough shows us bass fishing kayak style. All that plus product spotlights, Strike King Pro Tips, and we celebrate the grand opening of the brand new Sportsman's Warehouse store in Anderson, South Carolina. The Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show starts right now. Everybody. Welcome to another week of the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, and it's a special week as we come to you from the new Sportsman's Warehouse store in Anderson, South Carolina. It's the 91st store in the Sportsman's Warehouse chain across this great country of ours. Now, with that being said, we thought it would be a good idea to bring the store manager, John Boynton, in and let him tell us a little bit about this great new facility. John, come on in. Congratulations on the grand opening. Thank you very much, sir. Glad y'all came and thanks for inviting me. Over. Absolutely. Big day, big crowds. Tell us about it. You've been with this company a long time. Why do people love this chain and, and the products that you sell here? I've been with the company for 12 years. Uh, we sell fun and we have a lot of fun selling. Uh, you can come in here and find, as you can see behind you, we have a, a good assortment of, of reels, plenty of poles, fishing bait, tackle, any, just about anything you can find. That's I, just, I noticed it, your zoom wall back there. You know, the yeah. zoom wall in Columbia is one of the biggest zoom walls in the country. Right. This one rivals it. Yeah, we told them to make us a little special with the lakes right here beside us. Yeah, and let me tell you another category that's exploded on the fishing side of things, kayaks. Yes, we have. And you got a bunch of them. We have several and we got more on the way. I'll tell you one thing we noticed when we looked at the kayak display just right several aisles down, pricing. You got great prices on kayaks. If you go around to other retailers, kayaks seem to start at $1,000. They start at $100 here. Yes, we do have some uh, at Single kayaks, yeah. $99.95, I just saw one. So we, we, tr we try to have something for everybody. Yeah, no, you do, and guess what? If you can't find it in this store, which I would find very improbable, you can always find it online 24-7 at sportsmanswarehouse.com. And with that, folks, it's time to head up the road and check out Brett Collins and the Carolinas Bass Challenge. Hey, everybody, we're at Lake Hickory today. This is our third stop on the North Carolina CBC side. Uh, we have 174 boats, and that's our second biggest crowd here. And of course, first place is going to take home $10,000, and we pay him back an extra uh, $10,000 in Skeeter bonus money. But uh, today we got low water conditions, and uh, of course we got dirty water too, and that always means good fishing. And after today, we're going to announce where the championship's going to be this year, and that'll be a two-day event with $50,000 first place. And uh, we sure would love y'all to come out and fish with us. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll have some big bags of fish coming in at Lake Hickory, North Carolina. How's the bite been today, guys? One bite. Really? We didn't hit many bites, but we got one good one. Good job. Have you seen a lot of fish on the beds, or have y'all looked? Or? We didn't see nothing on the beds yet. Not today. I mean, we, before I left here last week, you know, when we had to stop coming, last night this fish been everywhere. Yeah, the fish is kind of spread out. There, there, there's some doing their deal on the beds. There's some that's uh, still out on points that hadn't quite moved up yet. There's some postponed fish as well that's probably moving back out. With the lake being down, the areas where they once spawned are now out of the water. Looks like they're cranking this shallow point. The guy in the back just caught one probably two pounds or better. He's still on a spinnerbait. Lake Hickory did these anglers well this day. This event was their second largest with 174 teams competing, paying out $45,800 in cash and prizes. Jeremy Talbert and Brian Robbins took the top spot with five bass weighing 21.52 pounds. 
Way to find them, fellas. Congratulations to all the anglers that competed in this great tournament. This year's Classic will be held on October 26th and 27th on Lake Wiley in South Carolina. The Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, sponsored by Ranger Boats, featuring the Z Comanche, 50 years in the making, by Mercury Marine, quality, performance, innovation, reliability, and by Strike King Lures, celebrating 50 years. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. You know, guys, I hate to admit it, but before every tournament, I have to tie one on. And I really hate to admit this, but before the Bassmaster Classic, I really have to tie one on. And if you do what I did and tie one on from Strike King, maybe you'll get what I got, a classic hangover. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget, we're here at the brand new Sportsman's Warehouse store in Anderson, South Carolina. And if you're a boat owner, you're probably always looking for great new electronics technology to help you catch more fish. And there's not a better company to look for in Sportsman's Warehouse to do that than Hummingbird and Minkota. You know, these new trolling motors that Minkota has come out with have technology built into them that I simply can't even begin to describe to you. Like, remote controls from the back of the boat, being able to hold your boat in a specific spot while you walk to the back of the boat. They literally will do what you tell them to do. Our own Chris Brown got an inside look at this incredible technology and this incredible product at the factory in Eufaula, Alabama. All right, folks, here we are in beautiful Eufaula, Alabama at the Hummingbird facility with our friend Josh Allgood, production manager for Hummingbird. And Josh, you're gonna kinda give us the 10 cent tour, so to speak, as to what you guys do down here, right? Yep, I'm gonna show you exactly what we do as far as building the unit from start to finish and out the door. Obviously, I don't have to tell y'all about transducers, so I won't go through the whole spiel of, this is how it works, okay? But I will say that there's proprietary stuff, obviously, in here that it will only work like there's elements in it and epoxy basically. They are proprietary and they work together. The viscosity of the epoxy and things like that. You know, fishing is not insulated from today's rapid advancement in technology. If you've looked at the latest hummingbird screens, you know anglers are seeing what's impossible just a few years ago. Well, today it's in living color and reality. For over 40 years, Hummingbird has operated with one goal in mind, create difference making days for anglers out on the water. Day after day, year after year, they've done just that. It's no wonder they've become America's favorite fish finder. And we make around 75 versions of transducers. Between trolling motors, through hull, transom mount. Most of them you have to buy as aftermarket accessories, uh, high definition type stuff, things like that. We'll solder the elements into it. They'll epoxy it and then test them. So the transducer that's in Minn Kota trolling motors, we make it. And she's actually testing them now. You know, specialized machinery and automation produce the electronic boards that are within your units. But there are still places that human hand and talent must be utilized. So some parts are through hole parts. So it's got, see this one has prongs sticking off the bottom of them, okay? Those prongs go all the way through the board, okay? The machine won't place these. We have to place these by hand. So she'll have a work instruction. 
they'll tell her everywhere she's going to put a part, and then they're color coded. So if she wanted to come down here and look at the color, it'll tell her the part number, what she's putting there. A whole lot of work, precision technology, know how, and research goes into electronics we have on board our boats to ensure we are at our best day after day. Proudly made right here in Eufaula, Alabama, Hummingbird helps you explore the water with confidence. They build products for tournament anglers all the way to the weekend pleasure boaters. You can count on Hummingbird Electronics. Thanks, Chris. Great insight on that great product. Back at Sportsman's Warehouse here in Anderson, South Carolina, we got Zach Watkins in the fishing department who does a little bit of tournament, fish, tournament fishing himself, fishes some BFLs, team trails, and this is now the Sportsman's Warehouse product spotlight segment. We thought we'd let Zach tell us a little bit about the Strike King 6XD diving crankbait. This is a uh, lure and a bait that a lot of tournament anglers use. What do you like about it so much? The fact that I like about the Strike King XD, it like man, how you can get down to that depth, man, I can get that long cast with it like I want to when I'm targeting brush piles, deeper rocks, contour lines. I was able to get this bait down there. I was able to get right into the stuff, bounce it off of it. Better, better catch. I catch a lot of good fish off this day, especially this time of year. Especially in the summertime when they fish get a little deeper, able to be able to get down there. I like how the lips design, how the, actually the size of the bait, how they got the back. I like the colors. I, mean, I ain't never seen a company have so good colors as they do. I mean, if, like, unless they match the hatch, I mean, this really does match the hatch. Well, you know, it's funny. We're standing in front of the Strike King, you know, uh, aisle here, and boy, we got a lot of Strike King product behind us. And to your point, Zach, the colors have never been right. better. Well, hey, man, we appreciate your time and your help. And that wraps up this week's Sportsman's Warehouse Product Spotlight. Let's check out the latest from Strike King in our Pro Tip of the Week. Call it a little preview of what we'll see later in the show. Here's our own Vance McCullough. You know, every now and then there's a lure you can kind of hang your hat on. You just kind of have a relationship with it. You like it, you know. I've won thousands of dollars from the backs of boats with big tungsten lipless rattling baits. The Red Eye Shad Tungsten 2-Tap from Strike King uh, is, is just a, a wonderful rendition of that type of lure. I, I'm really fond of this size, three-quarter ounce size. You can see all the grass on it here. I've been fishing it up here on top of this hump in about three foot of water, which, believe it or not, is usually where I throw this three-quarter ounce size lure, is up in about three foot of water. And I'm just ripping it along, ripping it kind of fast. That last fish that ate it, almost ate it off the surface as I'm zipping along, she came up and just bulldogged it, and it was a blast. It was fun. The trick to this deal is it thumps. It doesn't rattle, it thumps. And that deep tungsten thump plays to the fish's lateral line. The older the fish, the more they rely on their lateral line. The older the fish, the bigger they tend to be. Therefore, a lure that thumps, instead of rattling, is going to catch bigger fish on average. It has for me. It's been a difference maker and a money maker. Don't discount a big three-quarter ounce tungsten two-tap up here in shallow grass. OK, guess what? Vance is back, and he's going to take us fishing on his kayak in Florida. And up next, we head to Lake Chickamauga to celebrate the 12th annual Sportsman's Warehouse Fisherman's Dream Tournament. Stay with us. This portion of the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter, by Costa Del Mar, eyewear made with the angler in mind by TH Marine Quality Marine Products, and by ARE Truck Caps, Covers, and Accessories. From the dedicated, passionate anglers at G. Loomis, we bring you E6X. We know fishing and know how to make high-performance rods. Each E6X blank features multi-taper technology and action-matched high-grade cork handles, providing perfect balance and sensitivity. E6X belongs in your hand. Feel connected. For more information, visit gloomis.com. From bass and walleye to crappie and the great outdoors, no one has ever built aluminum boats like these from Ranger. They're packed with standard features. The ride is super smooth. They're whisper quiet and incredibly stable. Check out the difference in quality, performance, and room in a Ranger aluminum design. America's fastest growing aluminum line. No matter what you're after on the water, these rigs are engineered to excel and priced to be yours. Omar, look. Omar, check this out. 
Hi, yeah, I was calling to see if you do laser hair removal for men. Notice that my hips are off the ground? And then I'm gonna pike my hips back into downward dog. Hey, the rain stopped. A bad day on the road still beats a good one off it. Tell me about that dental procedure again! I can still taste it in my mouth! Progressive helps keep you out there. Whether you're a weekend warrior or a seasoned bass pro, you're putting the miles on that tow vehicle when you travel around to do your fishing. That's where trailer trip interruption coverage from Progressive comes into play. If you're more than 100 miles from home and your vehicle or trailer is disabled while towing your boat, Progressive will reimburse up to $500 per occurrence for food, lodging, and transportation until you're back on the road. All of these benefits for only $10 a year. Customers are insured for a daily maximum of $100 for lodging, $50 for alternative transportation, and $50 for food while the trailer or motor vehicle is being repaired. Trailer trip interruption is one more way the folks at Progressive get it. They're helping to insure our lifestyle and make sure we enjoy our time on the water and on the road. You know, for 12 years now, the Sportsman's Warehouse store in Chattanooga has sponsored the Sportsman's Warehouse Fisherman's Dream Tournament on beautiful Lake Chickamauga. Store manager Carl Schultz and his staff are always there participating and making sure this event is one to remember. Uh, proud to be a part of the 12th annual Sportsman's Warehouse Fisherman's Dream Bass Tournament. It's uh, to benefit Silverdale Academy the Athletic Department. Uh, I've worked with a great crew. Brent Brady's a fantastic organizer, a good crew of volunteers. Good weather so far, no rain. We're hoping it stays away till after the weigh in. Uh, we had a big fish, 10.56. Really good to see that come in this morning. Uh, I have no idea what they're catching them on, and they'll never tell you either. But it's a, it's a fun, fun tournament. It's a, one of my favorite things to do all year long. I've got some uh, Sports Warehouse employees in this tournament, and hopefully uh, they'll represent us at the weigh in with some good, good catches. So I'm looking forward to that. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the 12th annual Sportsman's Warehouse Dream Bass Tournament here on beautiful Lake Chickamauga. We're here the first week of May, and we're with a father and son team, Adam and John Dessert, that this morning they had one of the big fish hours. Uh, looked like they were going to win. Guys, that big fish weighed 794, and they just barely got bumped out on big fish. Now, these fish right now on Lake Chickamauga are kind of in a transition stage. Some of the fish have moved off bed, but they haven't really moved out to the deep summer stuff yet, but they're not really committed one way or another. So there's some people catching fish in two foot of water, and there's some people catching fish in 15 foot of water. But the cool thing is we've got a good overcast day. We've got a front moving this afternoon, and there's been a lot of fish caught so far today. Folks, you can see right now, the Dysarts have had a great morning so far, and look at those fish they've got ready to cull, and they're trying to get some better fish. They're working. We're sitting at about 22 and a half. Sitting at about 22 and a half pounds, and that's gonna be really strong today. Will they need one more kicker to bump them over 25? Yes, possible. <laughs> Very possible. Yes, we will. The cloud cover stayed with the anglers all day long, and the fishing was good. We saw anglers bringing a steady stream of 20 plus pound limits across the stage. The father and son team of Adam and Bob Dysart had the second place weight of 27.05 pounds, and the team of Baron Adams and Trevor Prince brought in the winning weight of the tournament with a 28.29 pound sack. All the proceeds go to the athletic department at Silverdale Baptist Academy. To date, through Sportsman's Warehouse sponsorship and the generosity of all the local anglers, more than $80,000 has been raised. You know, as we've said all day long today here at Sportsman's Warehouse, there is literally something for everybody if you like to hunt and fish. And you know, standing here in the kayak section, holy cow, we got some incredible kayaks, and our own Vance McCullough raves about kayak fishing. We've been telling you about it all show. Well, now it's time for Vance to show you what it's like to fish in a kayak. Vance McCullough here. Just want to let you know you want to see what's going on down here in Florida. Stay with us. The Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, brought to you by Minkota Trolling Motors, by Hummingbird Electronics, Sims Clothing, and Ed Watkins Marine.
Hey folks, Vance coming to you here from my home state of Florida where we're fishing a kayak tournament. Now y'all are familiar with bass tournaments, anglerchannel.comers and progressive bass wrap-up viewers, but uh, this particular style of bass fishing done in the kayak, not a big bass boat. And right now, my boy Hunter and me, we're participating in the Florida Challenge, the Kayak Bass Fishing KBF. Go to kbf.com and you can join in too. So all through the month of May, we're scoring our best five fish. We're gonna measure them, not on a scale, but on a bump board, the official hog trough. I've got my tournament identifier, my tag, with the code written on it that I couldn't get until midnight right before the tournament, so I couldn't cheat and use any old photographs of old fish. And uh, it's all legit, done well, well run. I'm having a blast. We're having a real good time. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of sucking wind. I finally got my limit filled out, but I'm, I'm a little behind on, on inches here. Um, but I've got, you know, what, 10 more days to go, and I'm in a great place, so I got a good shot at catching up. I'm going to go ahead and cast right here because the little bass chilling right there. I'm going to bust you one real quick on that top water back in there. It's pretty shallow all back in there. Perfect top water. Uh, I don't know that. if that's a prop scar or a bed I see up there. I can't tell. Go ahead and get him. I'm going to hold back here a second. Go ahead and get him. Well, that's just perfect right there. Something ought to crush that. Like that? <laughs> he didn't need it good? Nope, he barely touched it. He just spit on it? He just love tapped it. I'm gonna give you that side. You wanna go left? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm going right, I'm giving you that side. Okay. I'd say that's probably a good call. Right, oh, that's a fish right, right there, hey. You got a fish on before it even, before it even started buzzing. That fish ate it under the water. <laughs> oh, oh these Benville bass are crazy, man. They don't even wait for your buzz bait to start turning before they ah, eat come it. come here. God, that was one of those that hit the water and you had him. He's right here, but he's in grass. Land his butt, boy. He's in grass. He's in the grass. We'll dig him out of that grass. Unbury him. Come here. That's a chunky little fish. Look at that. Sort of kind of top water. When I catch a fish, I have to open up my TourneyX software, TourneyX.com is the site that hosts the tournaments. And I'm right here and it says submit a fish. I can check the standees if I want, see how things are going with other people or uh, some of a sandbag, you know, so some of it, you know, they wait a little bit, but you can check the standees for what it's worth. So I just pull up, submit a catch. Now here's the challenge I'm in. Now next week when I'm in two different tournaments, it'll list both challenges and I have to pick which one I want to submit the fish to. And I, and I can do it to both of them separately. But right now I'm in the state challenge. So I'd hit submit fish and here we go. I can take a photo of the fish or submit one I've already taken on my phone and saved in case I'm in a bad cell area and, and then upload it. And all I got to do is, is tell them the length of the fish, hit submit with a good legitimate photo. Now the photo, of course the fish's mouth has to bump here. His left eye has to be facing up. I can touch the fish, but not on the gill plate, not on the tail. I can't touch the, the ends of the fish. Right in the middle, I can hold him steady if I need to. And some of these wild fish down here, you need to, they're fired up. So measure them. Get a good picture over here where they can see the tournament identifying tag and they can see the length of the fish and the judges will score it, okay it, and add it to the leaderboard. Well, that wraps up today's show. And as you know, we came to you from the brand new Sportsman's Warehouse store in Anderson, South Carolina. Special thanks to Vance, Chris Brown, and all of our pro staffers who helped make this show what it is with a special thank you to Sportsman's Warehouse for letting us shoot this week's episode of the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show right here in their 91st and newest store. With that, for all your podcasts, tournament information, and anything, everything you need related to tournament bass fishing, go to anglerschannel.com. We'll see you next week. Promotional consideration provided by Carhartt, Bass Mafia, Buckeye Lures, Collins Boating, and by Rhino Hitch. Produced by anglerschannel.com.